After failing a post-fight drug test in the wake of drawing with WBC super middleweight champion Badu Jack, Lucien Butte faced an uncertain future. But after paying $50,000 to the WBC's clean boxing program and serving a six-month suspension, the 36-year-old is now free to resume fighting. His next kick at the can is slated for February 24th in Quebec City when he faces undefeated stablemate Elider Alvarez. With the winner getting a shot down the line at yet another Butte stablemate, reigning WBC light heavyweight champion Adonis Stevenson. It's pretty much a must-win scenario for Butte, who's down to his last few grains of sand in his boxing hourglass. But while most fighters have a handful of sand at best to work with, Butte amassed a beach work. With his longevity owed primarily to the passion of French-Canadian boxing fans, who support their fighters with a zest unlike anywhere else in the world outside of the United Kingdom. Butte certainly stoked that passion as the undefeated IBF super middleweight champion, making eight successful title defenses in Montreal and Quebec City. But in May of 2012, he ventured to Nottingham, England, where hometown hero Carl Froch blitzed Butte with his unconventional assault, handing him his first loss by a lopsided fifth round stoppage. It's been a battle for Butte to regain his footing ever since, with the Froch loss not only erasing his undefeated status, but with it a seemingly crucial modicum of invincibility. But it may be that this new vulnerability in Butte actually adds to the appeal of his fights. There is some intrigue and possible redemption for a former champion, and how long he could evade the end that awaits every fighter. If he's able to hold off Alvarez, and the inevitable final pebble of sand then Butte's reign as Quebec's favorite fighting son may have some life left to it.